I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. How to survive Holy Week without being able to actually go to church. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing in Higher Things, passing on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the gospel to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. So, uh, Corona world has us unable to go to church on some of our favorite days of the church year. Palm Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, Easter Vigil. The candle behind me, Vigil. What do we do? You okay there, buddy? What's going on there, buddy? Yeah, he's asleep. So what do we do? Well, the Lord is giving us a lesson in the priesthood of the baptized. He's given us a moment to take a look and be priests inside of our homes. The church has been, has been scattered before. And after we survive this coronavirus, it'll happen again sometime. We don't need the building. We need, we, we don't need all of us gathered together for Holy Week to be Holy Week. So here's your guide to how to handle Holy Week without being able to go to church. And yeah, I know church is, church is streaming. We're streaming services. And, and that gives us a little bit of a, a sort of a bird's eye view of what the worship service could have been like for us. But that distance and that lack of the communion of saints and that lack of the fellowship with our brothers and sisters in Christ makes it only as good as the screen. As much as I want to reach through here, all I can do is hit the, the webcam. So what do we do? Well, here's what we do. We gather together as families and we read the scriptures together. Palm Sunday, we read the Palm Sunday gospel. We read about Jesus going into Jerusalem, riding the royal donkey. Here, our God is for sinners. Here he is for people the likes of you and me. We read Matthew 21. We, we sing with our hymnals. Yes, we watch the stream. Yes, we read devotions. But we read the gospel of what happened on Palm Sunday. We read it together. And we read it knowing that God is where his word is read. Monday... And Tuesday is a good time to read chapter 12 of John's gospel. And also, um, I like to read um, the gospel of Matthew's account of Jesus' suffering and death. That's Matthew 26 and 27. And I like to read Mark's gospel on Tuesday. That's Matt, uh, Mark um, 14 and 15. Just gather together, take the time, Read the gospel. This is the week that Jesus did what he did in the scriptures for you. Wednesday, Spy Wednesday, the traditional gospel is Luke 22 and 23. There we hear about what Jesus did for us, his institution of the supper. We hear Spy Wednesday. We get to hear about how all the forces of darkness banded together against Jesus to betray him into the hands of sinners. Thursday is Maundy Thursday, John 13, 1 to 15, a new command I give to you, that you love one another. As I have loved you, so must you also love one another. Again, gather together, not 
I'm not saying don't watch your stream, but spend a little time in the Lord's words and promises. And those words and promises for Maundy Thursday, Mandate Thursday, are John 13. Good Friday, Good Friday is John 18 and 19. That's the, the, the service of the Vesper, the Vesper Tinnenbury service, and also the chief service is the Gospel of John. Read it, mark it, take it to heart. Read about his, his seizing, being seized at Gethsemane, how they all fell down and then they all picked themselves up. They fell down when he said who he was, I am. But they picked themselves up. Read about Pilate's postmodernism, asking Jesus, what is truth? You got your truth, I got my truth. And the blood and water that flowed from his pierced side, Jesus' pierced side. Vigil, Matthew 27, 57 to 66. Holy Saturday, that's what it's all about. Jesus is tucked away in the tomb, sleep. We keep watch. You can watch a vigil service online. My church is watching, uh, is vigiling online, but you can also in addition to what you would normally do, take the time that you are grounded inside to read the Lord's words, Matthew 28, 57 to 66. And finally, Easter morning. Oh, Easter morning, the traditional gospel is, Matthew, uh, is Mark 16, 1 to 8. What I love about this is Jesus doesn't make an appearance. Grab your hymnal, sing your favorite hymns a cappella. You know the ones. The point of this is just because you can't go to church doesn't mean that you can't gather around the Lord's words and promises. In fact, make this Holy Week even more of the Lord's words because you can't rely on your church to give them to you. Gobble up all the devotional materials you can and let it be a gift to you and your family as you gather around the Lord's words and his promises. Spend Holy Week as a people scattered. Seek out your pastor for private confession and absolution. Seek him out for confession and absolution. And, and the Lord's Supper, you can do so. There's a whole week to schedule a time just with your family. You can social distance and still receive the Lord's Supper. But if you are in one of those situations that is dangerous and you don't feel comfortable going out, don't worry. The Lord's Supper will be there for you when you come out of your quarantine. For God has not left you. He is for you and he's trying to show you this week his suffering and death. In the gospel of, of Matthew on Sunday and Monday, Mark on Tuesday, Luke on Wednesday, a new command I give to you, John 13 on Thursday, Good Friday is John 18 and 19, Vigil is Matthew 27, and Easter is Mark 16. Read the Lord's words and promises. And then Monday and Tuesday of Easter week, don't stop there. Luke 24 on Easter Monday. Luke 24 on Easter Tuesday. You might want to include a little, if you wake up early enough on Easter morning, John 20. Or save that for Easter Wednesday. Be a Lord around the Lord's words and promises and let them be a gift to you. Don't spend your Holy Week... A I thought he was in, uh, uh, uh. I thought he was sleeping behind me, but he moved to my chair. Let it be a gift. He wouldn't have separated you from the church. He didn't abandon you alone. No, he's given you his word, his promise. Be in that word, be in those promises and let it be a gift. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.